Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Marie. On this channel, we talk about entrepreneurship and self-development, unlocking our deepest self and potential, becoming the best versions of ourselves. Now, today's video is very personal. I'll share how I went from being homeless to building a successful business. Now, rags to riches stories aren't just for the movies. We sometimes see the plot enacted by rich actors who were not born with money. Unfortunately, this trope happens in real life. Not every successful person that we know was born with resources to crawl out of poverty and homelessness. Some had to give up a lot just to take the risk and survive. And I'm proud to be one of those people. Whew, this is gonna be very emotional, but I'll try my best. Um, you may be curious as to how I did it. Building a business from the ground up is tedious and difficult. Imagine how difficult it was for me when I was homeless, pregnant and barely scraping by. If you had asked me that question a few months ago, I would not have had any idea what to say because I couldn't even understand it myself. It felt surreal, like a dream that would vanish in the blink of an eye if interrupted. Some people would argue that poor and homeless people exist because that's how society intended it to be in the first place. For them, it's a natural social phenomenon. Our future is already written when we're born. We are born unaware of the events of the world. I am skeptical of many things, but one thing is sure, God is the master of my fate. I was not born into a well-off family. I was not privileged. I couldn't afford to enjoy the finer things in life. I had to work hard for everything that I wanted and needed. About eight years ago, I lived in a hostel where homeless people were given a place to stay. It was unpleasant, but I couldn't choose, could I? It was a difficult life out there. And when I became pregnant, I thought I'd hit rock bottom. Until the day that I gave birth, I worked as a retail assistant in an Iceland supermarket because I had to support myself and my baby financially. My job was the only thing keeping my daughter and myself alive. <laughs> Even back then, it wasn't enough to make ends meet. Like, it was tough just tough. <laughs> I couldn't afford to eat a decent meal and I had to rely on cereal for breakfast, lunch and dinner. I couldn't even buy myself pads like I prioritized my daughter and would choose to get her the little things like teething toys instead of like providing myself with the things that I need. I wanted to provide for her and show my love in every way possible. Being alone and raising a child in an unpleasant environment made me feel lonely and hopeless but God lifted me and reminded me that I wasn't alone and that he was with me every step of the way. In my darkest moments he kept me sane and gave me the comfort that I actually needed. My cousins and my friends were extremely helpful. I was introduced to my cousins when I was about seven months pregnant and they would come to see me almost every day, bring me food or just invite me to their house for lunch and dinner. My friend also came to stay with me for a few weeks after my daughter was born. She did all the newborn stuff, like the everything newborn, like she bathed her, everything. I knew nothing about this. Then I quit my job and I started working as a carer. This new job provided me with numerous opportunities to appreciate life and grow as an individual. Working as a carer changed my outlook on life. I assisted people who were dealing with a variety of challenges. Some were actually on their deathbed and could not even communicate, like let alone get up and shower. That's when I realized how lucky and in a better place I was compared to others. It gave me more hope to thrive for my daughter's future because I wanted to provide her with the life that I never really had as a child. Looking back on my interview as a carer, you know, for my caregiving job, I later discovered that my interviewer was the company owner, so he owned the company. He asked me so many questions about like, where I wanted to be in life and everything. And while we were on the way to one of our clients, I told him that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. 
So we talked about my cosmetic selling business idea. He was very encouraging and supportive. Like that gave me so much hope. He offered me 3000 pounds to help me start my business. And I initially declined because it seemed excessive, but then he saw potential in me to multiply the 3000 by tenfold or more. Life was fantastic at that point, yeah. <laughs> I was hesitant because I didn't believe I could do it alone. But his generosity really inspired me. Like he believed in me, why wouldn't I? So I started looking for suppliers and got the business up and running. I sold highlighters, eyeshadows, palettes, brushes and everything in between pretty much. <laughs> finally, I was building something for myself and I finally felt like I had taken back control of my life. And then there was covid i don't even know if i can say with covid the world stopped functioning it affected everybody you and me nobody expected that our lives would just transition so quickly so due to border restrictions i was unable to ship my products i had to stop eventually and that broke my heart because m and beauty was everything to me you just want to disappear when you've built everything from scratch and it just slips from your grip just like that <laughs> everything that i worked for all the time and effort that I put into it was gone, just like that. But I didn't want to give up and lose hope, so I couldn't just give up. After everything that I went through, I had more fight left in me. I was still fired up and ready to succeed. Like, that's what I want you guys to understand. You did not just get here just to be there. You deserve to be in the highest places. We don't only have one shot in this lifetime. We have countless chances and we'll continue taking chances even when we are already at the top. Life doesn't stop when we are successful. We must remain or continue reaching for more. Later on, I met my now husband who also happens to be my best friend, you guys, honestly. From the first time that we met, he showed me nothing but tremendous support. He also invested a couple thousand into my makeup business before the whole COVID situation, which truly helped me, um, you know, expand. So we then relocated to London. I had a severe acne breakout from when I was a teenager, which got worse with the hormones during my pregnancy, and I wanted it treated, but nothing seemed to work for me. Like, so I just decided to take another risk and I ventured into skincare. My acne and scars were healed thanks to the homemade oils that I made. Um, my skin was radiant, I was satisfied with it and then I just shared it on my Snapchat <laughs> and everyone was blown away. Like after that I started sharing on my Instagram as well. This began with 20 people requesting my products and that increased to 50 and beyond because it was entirely made of herbs and the positive feedback just kept coming in weeks after week. I was overwhelmed because I knew very little about skincare, but however, my husband was with me on this journey and we learned and did everything together. He assisted me with the shipping and everything. Pretty much everything. He basically just kept the business running. Um, which was which was the most challenging aspect. When people began to seek my advice on their skin problems, my, my self-doubt became confident. It's a true honor that people put their faith in my knowledge and abilities. And it's even been more accomplishing that I get to share my products with the rest of the world and help a lot more people who suffer from acne, just like me. When you give back to the world, it will find ways to give you what you deserve. With combined hard work, perseverance, hope and trust in God, my skincare company paid me a good salary for the year. Yeah, and that's how I knew I did it. <laughs> you know, mama, I made it. <laughs> I still haven't fully grasped my reality now, like from rags to riches. My former homeless self would have not believed how far I've come. I can now afford to eat way more than just cereal and keep my stomach full. I've created a bright future for my family. I could have a million reasons to give up, but I only needed one to keep going. You see, guys, life constantly throws bricks at us to topple our hopes, dreams, and opportunities. The best way to counter that is to pick up all the bricks and build. Everything is possible when you condition your body and mind to make it happen because unfortunately we are our own worst enemy. I've been through my own 
battles i've had my doubts and as a result i've learned that surrounding yourself with people who encourage you and celebrate your victories is essential don't be afraid of hitting rock bottom because there's only one way and that's up <laughs> are you ready to go on a journey of creation and gain new knowledge, skills and behaviours, I'm going to be giving all my subscribers free workbooks and an intensive seven day course, all for free. I just want this tribe, this community to grow together and become the best versions of ourselves together. These workbooks and the course allows you to pretty much take control of your life. Each workbook guides you to develop a personal vision, complete a personal analysis, then create an action plan to actually turn your vision into reality so this bundle is actually great for you if you want to discover who you are and learn to accept and love yourself unconditionally including your shadow self if you want to stop feeling stuck press reset and start a new chapter in your life if you want to embrace your uniqueness and live your purpose your full potential if you, you want to heal your money story and attract financial abundance, or you want to learn how to deal with your limiting beliefs, face your fears and feel confident in yourself. These workbooks all helped me tremendously and I think it'll help you too. I purchased these so you don't have to. Now the bundle includes one, a dream life and self development planner and workbook. Two, <laughs> A small business startup planner and workbook. Now this is a step-by-step -step workbook for starting your own small business. Um, you know I got throwing some entrepreneurship in there. <laughs> Number three, it includes also a growth mindset workbook. It includes um, number four, the yearly goal planner. This planner is everything you need to set and achieve your goals for the year. So you can track everything and organize your yearly, monthly and weekly and daily goals to keep yourself accountable and motivated to crush them. It also includes space for action steps and scheduling for each goal, motivational quotes and monthly and weekly reviews. And number five, I'm going to be giving you guys the all-in-one notion planner as well. So this basically just allows you to control your social media platforms if you're a content creator. This Notion template will help you to stay on top of all your content across all your platforms, all in one place. So you get to access your strategy, goals, analysis, and more for each platform, as much as Content Bank to help you keep track of everything that you create and repurpose it. And number six, um, I have a dream life, personal development, success and self-discovery intensive seven day course for becoming that girl. And finally, I have a budget and finance tracker. Now this will help you just stay on top of your finances on a month to month basis, hit your savings goals and keep you in a financially abundant mindset. So hopefully my story inspired and motivated you to go nowhere but up <laughs> so if you like this video don't forget to click the thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you in my next one bye